Hello everybody, it's numerologist Michelle Buchanan with your numerology forecast for November 2022, the second to last month of the year. Can you believe it? Well, let's get started. Let's jump right in and calculate your personal year number for the year. And uh, we're going to do that by adding the day and month of your birth date to number six. Why number six? Because 2022 adds up to six. So therefore, we're going to add that six to the day and the month of your birth date. Let me use the birth date, the 28th of March, for an example. All right. So we would go two plus eight plus three plus six. And that actually adds up to 19. Now, the second rule of thumb here is to add together any double digit numbers until you eventually get a single number between one and nine. And that single number between one and nine is your personal year number for this month of November and for next month in December. So 28th of March plus six. Two plus eight is two plus eight is 10. 10 plus three is 13. 13 plus 6 is 19. Add double numbers together to get a single digit. 1 and 9 is 10. Then i got to do one more because that 10 is not a single digit. I need to go 1 plus 0 is 1. All right, so I needed to do a double, an extra sort of add double numbers together in the end there because 10 needed to be a single digit between 1 and 9. One last time, at the day and month of your birth date, to number six, add any double numbers together until you eventually get a single number between one and nine, and that's your personal year number for the year. So let's say you added your day and month of your birth date to number six, and you ended up with um, 12. One plus two is three. Let's pretend that you added those double digit numbers together, uh, 28, you added your day and month of your birth date to number six, and it ended up being um, 11. 1 and 1 is 2. It ended up being 15. 1 and 5 is 6. All right? All right. I think you've got it now. So let's begin with the forecast for each of the individual personal year numbers. I'm going to go through all of them individually. Starting with personal year number 1, you guys are in a year of new beginnings. We're at the end of this year now. So, you know, this new beginning is well underway. Okay, so you're on your own, you're on the road, you're on your way now, and uh, you're fully up and running with that new beginning. And it's a whole new way of thinking, a whole new way of living. Many of you, it's very obvious, there would have been some very big, significant new beginnings in your life this year, and others, not so much. It might be something small, like a, a slight change in the way that you see the world, or a slight habit that you've improved upon, or a new way of looking at an ongoing issue or a problem. For the first time in many years, you now see it through different eyes. Everybody's life circumstances are different. Now, for you one years, uh, the month of November is a three month for you, okay? And it's a three month because you're a one year and we add that one to the number of the month that we're looking into. November is a two, so we add the one year to the two for November. That gives you a three personal month for November. So this is honestly the best advice I can give you for the month of November for you guys. And it sounds really silly, but it's so important is really just have more fun. I want you to be as lighthearted as you possibly can. I know it's not easy for a lot of you. I know there's some heavy shit going down for some of you, and it's very difficult to try and lighten up. Um, but you can be in a challenging situation with one or two mindsets. One mindset is, this is doom and gloom. It's the end of the world. All hope is lost. Or you can be in the exact same situation with the second mindset, which is, damn, this is hard. This is going to be the making of me. I'm having to dig deep for this, but I believe that I can get through. I know there's work to be done, but I believe I can get through. I know I have assistance all around me. I just have to call it in. See, that's the exact same problems, the exact same life, the exact same scenarios are going on, but it's with a different mindset. And this month has given you an opportunity to try to see the glass half full. Because you are a creative being and you are an energetic being that is magnetic 
and you are magnetically drawing to you more situations and circumstances and opportunities or challenges based on your frequency that you're sending out to the world, out to the universe. You are the antenna that is sending a signal out and what that signal is will determine what you get back. And that's why it's important that you make sure your signal is of a optimistic vibration, okay? It can be realistic and it can even be sort of a little bit cynical and pessimistic because the reality is there are challenges that are going on for a lot of people right now. So we're not saying that they're not happening. We're not saying that they're not, they're not really there. But what we're saying, what I'm saying is change your relationship and your judgment of it and your perception of it. If you can lighten your perception and the story that you tell around the challenges too. And that's why having a strong spiritual practice, having a strong awareness and understanding of the universal laws, of the fact that we're energetic beings, of the fact that this life is only one. It feels like it's everything when we're in it. It feels like the be all and end all and on one level it is. But there's something else going on and it's a matter of being able de to depersonalize and to detach from the heavy, heavy, heavy negative perception, judgment, and heavy negative emotions around it. Now, when I say negative emotions, I'm talking about ones that are very judgmental, very victimized, very, you know, it's not fair, I'm, it's not fair, I'm hopeless. Emotional sadness, heartbreak, loss, those are not negative emotions. So they are part of the human experience. So embrace any emotions that you have. But I'm talking about the ones that are judgmental and, and critical and really um, detrimental to your ability to attract better, more favorable outcomes to what you're going through based on the way that you judge them, the, ju the way you judge the circumstances. And this three month is all about, it's a creative energy. Number three is the, and one of the creative numbers. But it's also a number about emotion, but it's also the number of joy, and it's and it's a number that naturally resonates to happiness and to joy and to fun and laughter and sociability and communication and doing things you love. And so when you're in a three time frame, when you're in a free cycle of time, you want to utilize the energy of that number. And that is about it's, life has given you an opportunity to be able to see the glass half full, to be able to see things from a little bit more of a positive, more optimistic mindset so that you can then start attracting the solutions. You can start, start healing. You can start attracting being in the right place at the right time. You can start attracting the solutions and problems to be solved or to be able to see a way through the assistance you need, the opportunities you need, the ideas start to come through the fog where it felt like there was nothing and you were stuck, but you can start to, things start to sort of separate. You can start to see the, the smoke through the trees, you know, um, and, you, and and it's, it's like that, that's what the three is encouraging you to do this month. And so if anything, you know, do more of what feels good because with you being an energetic um with you being an energetic being and we want to look at the highest, most highest energetic vibrations that will work to your benefit and they are gratitude, appreciation, joy, love, laughter, you know, acting like a child and seeing the beauty in the world, you know, taking time out to be able to focus on how beautiful a color is how beautiful a, a painting is, how beautiful a flower is, the beauty in, in an animal, you know, like who, who, you know, it's about taking time to be able to see your world through those eyes. This is also a month where it's important to communicate more, to get things off your chest, to not hold things in. Number three is also the number of communication, but it needs to be positive, uplifting, empowering, inspirational, and harmonious communication, as opposed to the negative frequency or vibration of communication, which would be moaning, criticizing, gossiping, manipulating, lying, um, 
you know, being victimized and telling the poor me stories over and over and over again to whoever will listen. And so it's about using your communication and your ability to express yourself in a positive way that's going to enhance your life and attract things, better things into your life. It's also about spending more time um, communicating or connecting with other people. So if you're someone who tends to want to spend a lot of time alone, that's me. I love spending my time alone. I need it because when I'm with people, I'm such a people person that when I'm not, I need to just be completely connected to source and quiet and meditation and studying and just being alone in my space. So if you are one of those people that tends to sort of want to spend a lot of time on your own, that if you can reach out, even if it's to just one person that you know quite well, or one person that you can even just pick up the phone and have a little conversation, write an email or say, can you meet for a a coffee or, you know, you just want to have a little chat for, for even half an hour or 10 minutes, just to sort of connect with other people outside of your own little insulated world. And then you've got other people that are extremely social and, um, you know, it's about finding good quality connections with those people around you. So I'll leave that with you. I'm asking you to do what feels good. Have fun. Have fun. Make, you know, try and laugh. Try and see the joy in life. Try and see the glass half full. That's the best advice I can give you for the month of November. And I wish you the very best. We'll move on now to personal year number two. And you guys are in a, um, in a four month for November. Because what we're doing is we get your two year and we add it to the two, uh, that November's a two or an 11 two. We add that to your existing two uh, and that gives you a four month. And so this is a month where you really want to not force things to happen. So first thing you need to know, both the two year and the four month that you're in are both slow moving at a slow pace sort of energies. And that means that it's teaching you to slow down and to not force things to happen before their time. So it's about you learning to trust in divine timing, to to surrender to the universe's divine timing, not your timing, To, to the universe's schedule of when and how things need to unfold, not your schedule of when you think things need to unfold. So it's about you taking a step back. What your job is, is to get everything lined up, Work on things behind the scenes. Get everything all set up, organized, all you know, all ready to go. And then you're really just waiting for it. You're, you're, it's waiting to marinate and waiting for the universe to just make everything happen in its own perfect way and time. And your job is to be patient with that. You know, patient and distracting yourself and not getting too impatient. And it's about trust and patience. It's also about doing the work, what needs to be done to get yourself and or your life where you need it or want it to be. What steps need to be taken to get that set up? So someone might be having a health issue. What do you need to do with your physical health to get it set up where it needs to be? Oh, I might need to cut out sugar. I might need to (laughs) exercise. I might need to cut out the alcohol. I might need to go and get a health checkup. You know, uh, someone else might have things they need to get their business or their finances in order. What do they need to do? What steps do they need to take? Oh, oh, okay. Well, they'll need to budget. They'll need to put some money aside that they, uh, in a savings that they cannot touch. They might need to take a look around and see what they've got at home that they can sell and make some money from off, say, you know, some of those online like eBay or Trade Me or, you know, selling things. Um, Other people, it might be, you know, I've got to upgrade my skills. I need to take a course that's going to give me some more abilities so that I can, you know, um, enhance the work that I do. Everyone's different. Everyone's needs are different. But this month is asking you to do the work that's required to get yourself and or your life where you want it to be or where it needs to be. So it's about working on things behind the scenes, being patient and putting the effort in to set things up and uh, be aware if there's any obstacles or delays or setbacks. You know what? The go when the going gets tough, the tough just get going. Don't moan about it. Don't try and force your way through. Don't try and do anything dodgy. Don't sweep things under the carpet. Just deal with them head on and just have the right mindset. Have that fortitude, that patience, that persistence, and it will pay off. I'll leave it with you and I move on now to personal year number three. So you guys are in a, um, 
a five month for October, uh, sorry, for November. And that's because November is a two and we're adding that two for November to your three year. So you're in a three year, three plus two is five. You're in a three year with a five month. This is a very dynamic combination of numbers. The best advice I can give you for this month is to not have your plans too set in stone because they could change. There, anything can happen and it usually does in this very dynamic, charismatic vibration. It's fast moving, it's undisciplined, it's ungrounded and it can be quite scattered where you can end up having your finger in a lot of different pies. You can end up having unfinished you know, projects on the go or you're, one minute you're concentrating and you're focused in one direction and then something new just drops on into your lap and distracts you away from that and now you're on the whole different tangent so therefore extra effort is required to keep yourself on track to stay disciplined to stay orderly to finish things and and sort of this this is easier for some people that have like fours and eights and organized numbers in their chart but then when you've got people that might be the three life paths or the five life paths or you know the three or five destinies or even birthday numbers you know they can find this kind of combination of numbers quite difficult because it's they're already quite scattered by nature and now they're in a scattered forecast so it's basically saying have your plans but be very flexible and adaptable so if something else comes up you're able to pivot over to somewhere else and it's all good you know you go with the punches you have your you know you roll with whatever comes up and you're prepared for changes it's a great combination of numbers to get out there and be social you might find yourself a bit more charismatic than you normally are you might feel like a little bit of a mover and a shaker you might get itchy feet you might be feeling a bit bored and want to go out there and do something fun and adventurous and just break free and break free from restrictions and do an, go on an adventure or do something different whether it's trying a whole different type of food or you know, buying some outfit that you never would wear, but you're going to try it on anyway and see what you think. Um, but it's very communicative. It's about you, you know, connecting with people, talking about who you are, talking about what you think and feel, and putting yourself out there, promoting yourself. If there's any changes that need to be made in your life, now is the time to make them this month. So if there's changes that you want to make, some people will have change forced upon them that they didn't see coming. Um, another thing to do if you can travel is a great thing to do this month, but definitely budget your finances. Don't overspend and be responsible. I'll leave that with you and I'll move on now to personal year number four. So you guys are in a six month for November and that means there is a focus on the relationships around you. It's a, There's a focus on the home and any domestic responsibility. So whatever needs to be done at home, some people it can be literally where we need to start renovating or someone else it might be, oh, I just need to have a big clean out of the garage. Um someone else it might be oh I've got to fix that bloody leak on the roof I didn't see that coming and now I've got a leaky roof someone else you know everyone's life is different um, some people it's relationships so it's your actual partner and issues that come to the surface that need to be worked on now for some people this can be really and these relationship issues that can come to the surface aren't necessarily for romantic relationships they can be for with siblings they can be with your children they can be with neighbors work colleagues friends um you know outer family members it's really just or the community you know it's where relationship issues that have been brewing beneath the surface can rise to be resolved and it's a good thing because you know it's in that resolution or that sort of coming to a head that gives us an opportunity to really communicate how we think and feel to see if we can find solutions to have those conversations or those sort of interactions that need to be had rather than just complaining about them or talking about them and, and then they, you know, behind behind closed doors or behind someone's back and now it's time to actually be able to have a, a conversation face to face. Now, people may need you more than more than they normally do. There may be people or in your life or around you that need your help, a shoulder to cry on. You might find yourself in the role of a counsellor. You might find that you are there to um, just be that shoulder to cry on, that person to talk to, um, and and just be there if you're needed. So, especially with family and people that you're close to, um, great time for you to be looking at your self care and taking care of yourself. Um, some people in a, you know, like to do something special for themselves. They might want to go and, you know, get a hairdo or do something special, just take some time away, but a couple of hours off work, finish early or 
duck away from the kids for a bit and just have some you time, go for a walk in the park on your own or, you know, everyone's different. But it is where it is about you sort of acknowledging your own needs and taking some time out to acknowledge what you need for your own self-care. All right, I'll leave that with you and I'll move on now to personal year number five. You guys are in a year uh, a year of five, which is a year of change, progress, movement and change, changing direction, um, fresh ways of thinking, moving into different territory. But for the month of November, you're in a seven month and that's really where you are going within to sort of do a bit of soul searching, a bit of contemplation, a bit of who am I, what do I want, where am I going, what's the meaning of life, what's it all about, or why do I behave the way I do, or why does this keep happening to me, or what am I, what do I need to work on within myself, um, you know, what's this law of attraction and manifestation, you know, what am I attracting into my life and why, where does it come from, why do I think the way I think, why do I behave the way I behave, and doing a bit of soul searching, Everyone's different. For some people, that might mean, hey, taking up a yoga class with a group of people for the first time. And other people, it might literally be going into like spending a lot of time looking into their personal awareness and doing some self-evaluation in a really serious sort of heavy way. And then someone else, it might be, oh, stuff all of that. I'm just going to go for a walk along the beach. You know, <laughs> everyone's in their own space and their own journey. And so there is no right or wrong. All of the above are absolutely fine. Each, each to their own and then you'll have another person that's like what an absolute load of bullshit I don't give a shit about any of what you've just said and I don't care and that's absolutely fine as well <laughs> totally um, so you know this month is actually encouraging those that are open to it to de to develop a stronger relationship with spirituality um, with whatever they believe source energy is to them um, to be able to build a more solid foundation a stronger relationship um, by with what it is you believe that exists out there because you know we think in life when we're trying to to make things happen or we're trying to get through a problem or we, we need help or assistance, you know, and we're thinking, I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll do all the things that I need to do. And then as a last resort, I'll pray. And it's like, that should be the first resort. Like we are energetic, spiritual beings. Spirit and, and that energetic frequency and our connection to source energy is what we are. It's, it's We're more that than we are this physical body. It should be the first thing we go to. But it's okay. Many of us are learning that. Many of us won't and it's not, and they're not meant to and that's all good. But if you can really strengthen your relationship with your spirituality and um, adopt a practice, whether it's meditation or whatever it is that feels good, that makes you feel connected to source energy, then do more of that. Great month for you to take care of your health and well-being. Spend time in nature, quiet time alone, um, studying, learning, great time for all of those kinds of things. And you may not feel as social as you normally do in this frequency. All right, I'll leave that with you and I wish you the very best. And I move on now to personal year number six. And you guys are in a, um, a month of eight for November because November's a two and we're adding that two to your sixth year. So six and two is eight. That's why you're in an eight month within a six year. And that's awesome because, you know, as I've said throughout this year with all these forecasts, you are always in harmony or in sync with the universal year number and the universal month number. That means you get a double dose of that energy and that energy is going to be quite significant and quite obvious for you, more so than it is for the rest of us that are not in sync with that universal year um, and universal month like you are. So as you might have seen in the introduction of my newsletter, um, you know, eight is the number of manifestation. It is the number of the law of cause and effect. It's the number of karma. It's a number of justice and balancing the scales. It's the number of you sow what you reap. It's a number of you attract what you focus your attention on the most. It's the number of what will, what you believe to be will be. So it's really about taking responsibility and understanding these universal laws like the law of attraction, like the law of manifestation. You know, because you are manifesting every minute of the day. It's a, you are a frequency that is going out into the world that is magnetic and is attracting back circumstances, people, situations, things, material things, all kinds of th everything around you. 
based on the signal you're sending out. So why not take a look at that signal and give it a tweak? Get to know it better. Understand these universal laws that govern you. Or, you know, whether you can see them or not, it doesn't matter. They are governing our life. So this is the month to be able to take that seriously. Take responsibility for the role that you play in that and use those systems to your advantage. Also a month to focus on career, money, um, budgeting, no, try not to overspend. Um, and also it's a number, it's a month where you are learning not to allow yourself to become disempowered anymore, to not allow yourself to feel disempowered by an overpowering person or disempowered by a fear or a worry or an addiction or a bad habit or a limiting belief, anything that takes your personal power away, anything that prevents you from feeling empowered. Let's take a look at that this month and take the steps that are needed to start reclaiming that power back. So I wish you the very best and I'll, I'll leave that with you and I'll move on now to personal year number seven. You guys are in a year uh, of seven, which has been very much all about going within and figuring some stuff out, but you're in a nine month for November and that nine month for November and how we get the nine month is November is a two and we're adding the two to your seven year, seven and two is nine. So that's why you're in a nine month. Of your seven in your seven year so the nine month is out with the old to make way for the new this is where you are looking at what what you've outgrown now for some people it's literally people they might have outgrown or a person or a relationship or a dynamic or an interaction within an existing relationship so the relationships not over but a specific dynamic within it you've outgrown it might be you've decided that you're no longer going to hold your ex-partner or a parent accountable for things that you feel was their, you know, was their fault that happened to you. You've now grown out of that and you've gone, I'm not going to be the victim anymore. I'm going to reclaim my personal power and just see it as a life experience that taught me this, this and this, things that you learned from that experience and how this person helped you to be able to achieve that learning and therefore raise your vibration as a result. And you've grown out of blaming now. You're like, I've grown out of that. My God, that was so childish. Now I see it for what it is. And I've det and you detach emotionally. And you detach, you know, and depersonalize it. Make it less dramatic. See it from a higher frequency, a higher perspective. And you just change the whole dynamic between you and another person. And that's what the nine can do, because the nine is saying it's time to grow up. It's time to be more broad-minded. It's time to be wiser. It's time to be more evolved. It's time to see the bigger picture, to be more understanding, more forgiving, to be the bigger person, the better person, because that's what nine is encouraging us to do. It is the number of the compassionate humanitarian. It is also the number of endings, out with the old to make way for the new. Don't hold yourself back anymore. Fly, be lighter. Think of yourself as like a hot air balloon. And our, our job as a human being is to raise our vibration so that we're living and thinking and, and perceiving and living from our higher self, from our soul. Not the lower self that's governed by the emotions and the ego and all the drama. And, and think of all that heavy emotion, all that judgment and all of that ego sort of lower self way of living and perceiving as heavy weight bags on your hot air balloon. And our job is to push them off the edge, <laughs> push them over the edge of the basket of the balloon so that we can float higher, up, 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 up into the higher frequencies. You know, and, and that's really what that nine energy is saying. Look, throw those bloody dead weights overboard. Don't carry them around anymore. You've grown out of it now. It's time to move into the big, big league. You know, it's time to, <laughs> it's time to put your big girl pants on, your big boy pants on and just leave that dumb childish stuff that's beneath you behind and go to a much higher frequency so that you can live a happier life. You can be lighter. You will improve your health. You will improve the circumstances around you. So the nine month is asking you out with the old to make way for the new. What do you no longer need in your life? And what is making you happy and what's making you unhappy and looking at ways that you can improve the things that are making you unhappy. So I'll leave that with you and I'll move on now to personal year number eight. You guys are in a, 
one, a whole new beginning this month of November. And that's because November is a two. And eight, eight is your year and you're adding it to the number two for November. Eight plus two is ten. One plus zero is one. So that means you're in a one month of the in this eight year. And it's whole new beginnings. Yay! In fact, this combination of numbers, an eight year with a one month, very powerful for manifestation and the law of attraction. Very, very powerful. And this is an eight universal month as well. So if you, this is a great combination of numbers for you to be able to attract into your life things you're trying to attract, whether it's better health, whether it's a solution to a problem, whether it's, hey, I want an opportunity, I want to change my job, I want to find something new, you know, to be able to understand the role that you play in that and open some doors, you know, it's green light ahead. This is a perfect freak, uh, combination of numbers to start something new, to start making things happen, to be proactive. So you've been given the green light to get out there, to get off your butt, get out into the world and make things happen, to take action, to start something new, to get the ball rolling, to get in the driver's seat of your life and to know how creative you are based on your thoughts and your beliefs and the stories that you continuously tell yourself about yourself, about life and about the opportunities that exist out there in the world. So um, get out there, make things happen, take the world by storm and you've got a green light there, so go for it. All right, I'll move on now to personal year number eight. Uh, sorry, personal year number nine. Personal year number nine. Right, this is a year of endings, completion and transformation. And we're almost at the end of the year. So you should really be feeling it by now that there is a whole new you that is waiting to be reborn and you're really just sort of fine-tuning things behind the scenes. You grew, you should have been growing up a lot. You should have had some big awakenings, some lessons that you're working your way through. You're moving away from what you don't want to carry forward next year with you. You're starting to make changes, starting to sort of tie up some loose ends, starting to forgive what needs to be forgiven, starting to raise your vibration so that next year, from the 1st of January, when you go into a whole new nine-year cycle, next year in January, on January the 1st, you're in a whole new nine-year cycle. This only happens every nine years, so this is a really important time. Now you've got, you're in the last couple of months to really fine-tune yourself and get ready for that. So as soon as that 1st of January comes, boom, you're ready. You're ready to go, yay, I'm ready to take on this whole new nine-year cycle. How exciting. So take a look at yourself and ask yourself, what do I no longer want to carry around with me? What do I not like about myself that I really want to work on so that I can prove myself? What in my life do I need to change? What's holding me back? What makes me unhappy? What do I need to do or need to my mindset need to change or actions that I might need to take to make myself feel better about these situations? What do I need to do? And that's what that year and, of course, the month is for you because, um, you know, it's still, it doesn't matter what month you're in, this is the highest frequency is the nine year. The month that you're in for November, though, is a two, and that's going to dial up the emotions, all right? So that's going to bring a little bit more of an emotional content into this whole out with the ultimate way for the new. Um, I'm moving into this whole, whole new vibration. So what can sometimes happen is it's a great time to take a look at if you're starting to feel a bit more emotional than normal, if any emotions come up, have a look at them, because you'll find a lot of what happens is when when we're, when we're triggered emotionally, it's often not only that one isolated event that's triggered the current emo the emotion at the time. It usually is a thread of the underlying emotion from a various stories that have accumulated or, or situations or experiences that have accumulated within your life, your whole lifetime. And it's really coming to a head. And so therefore, the emotions that you're feeling about an isolated event are not from that one isolated event, but from a chain of events that you've gone through your whole life. And because you're in the nine year, which is, you know, tying up loose ends, Follow those emotions down the rabbit hole as far as you can in terms of why am I feeling this way? Why do I f perceive it this way? Why do I see it as from this perspective? What's the story here? Why do I think it's that story? Why do I come to those conclusions? Are they real? Are they warranted? Is it 
just my side of the story that I'm seeing it that way? Is there another side? Are there other sides, other ways to perceive this experience or this feeling or this scenario? You know, those are the kind of thoughts and feelings we want coming up for you this month because that's where the real work gets done. So try not to sweep it under the carpet. For some people, it will be hard work. It will be quite emotional. Other people, no, nah, won't even be a glitch in the system. You won't even notice anything. Everyone's different. But if you do feel those sort of pull on the heartstrings, analyze them. Don't be afraid to pull them out and have a look. Um, so, you know, it also is a time to be more understanding of other people this month. It's also a time for you to follow your intuition, follow that gut instinct. Don't just ignore it. Look for red flags when making decisions. Um, and, you know, sometimes we want to just reach out and we want to be heard. You want to get close to people. You want to pull your heart out. Everyone's different, but it is a good time for that. It is a good time for deep and meaningful conversations. It's a good time to get closer to people. It's a good time to be there for someone else. It's a good time to sort of ask for someone else's shoulder to lean on. Um, it is a great time for people to get closer than they normally would. And it is a great time to take a look at yourself and, and, and self-love and really nurture yourself and give yourself those beautiful emotions of forgiveness, of understanding, of unconditional love. I love you no matter what. I'm working on that myself at the moment. You know, well, I've been doing that for so many years. It's such a bloody, so many layers of that onion, isn't there? But it's a matter of I love you no matter what you, you know, no matter how you look, no matter what you are. And I love you anyway, you know, and we really need to do that with ourselves. We need to have that relationship with ourselves because, you know, after all, we are an energetic being, we are an energetic being that is vibrating a frequency out to the world based on a message that we're saying to the world. And a lot of that message is what we're saying to ourselves about ourselves. And then we're sending that message out to the world and the world will reflect back to us confirmation of that story that we tell ourselves about ourselves. And so it goes around in circles, which is why it's really important that you tell yourself a really beautiful story about yourself, that you really are kind to yourself, that you don't, if you, you know, you don't judge yourself by your physical appearance, you don't judge yourself by perceived mistakes you think you've made um, or that you might have made. But life is really supposed to be a series of mistakes because that's how we learn and grow. We didn't come here to be the perfect person with the perfect life. And it's about you being kinder and more forgiving towards yourself and others in these combination of numbers. So I wish you the very best. Have a fabulous month. And I will talk to you again in December. And I wish you the very best. Love and blessings. Bye.